afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting program in the cast. your host, Imperial Dane, Master Propaganda Hero Psych, Defender of the Fatherland. Off it's an exciting, amazing one versus one right here on Holot in the Summer. The setting is 1944, somewhere in France, the British Army with the 7th Army Division of moving ahead in the East Germany. With Sen Pranis fighting back here, pushing forward with the Panzerlehr Panzer Schorn versus Siaya here with the 7th Armoured. We got Ostrom, we got Jaeger Infantry, we got Mobile Defensive for some Prime with Panzer Grenadier Infantry Machine Gun versus Zia's Advanced Emplacements, Rolling Engineers and Special Weapons with Infantry and Armored Car Bulletins. There we got a double section, Universal Care Start, there he moves out for tea, biscuits and victory. We got a Grenadier MD42 start here for some Prime, pretty standard stuff here from the Germans, very much so. I would hardly describe that as controversial. Got pioneers moving down here for the point cut off point named for to me. It might be setting up here in the church to cover the area here. Of course, there's going to be this blind spot, so not fully effective, but can at least keep the central victory point out of the hands of the Tommies. Second, at least, there will be a village happening, I imagine, there for Zen Prime. For Ziaya, after the universal, uh, universal carrier section is very likely. He could also theoretically go for the Vickers. Universal carrier built and ready. Though, for the British, for the moment, at least it seems a bit on and off who goes for the Vickers and who does not. We got sandbags up here. To help defend the northern point there against any German movements. South, we got Pioneers going to these advancing there for the German army. MD42 covering up here. And back here, nothing further going on there for Sen Prime as of yet. We'll see if it results in anything further. Section of watch here. Alright, chaps, dig in with the sandbags and then we move. Why would we move on? Why would we put. Just move on, Terrence. Stop asking questions. Well, the Canadians will come for you in the night. With their spoons. Spoons? Don't ask. Got these moving out there for Sen Prime. Alright, he seems to fall back here trying to figure out what Sen Prime is up to before moving head to third section out there. For Siaya and the 7th Armored Division. There we go, two minutes into the game. First minute shots fired. MD42 opening up the Immersed Care there who finds itself a bit surprised as he comes under fire from the church. Section standing about, he obviously does not want to push down south at now because there's a machine gun about. I imagine this is going to save up for the wasp and then try and burn out the MD42 like that. Before it going to the squad there for Zen Prime. Bolts and section club for CIA first, which if not, does not mean any sort of fast wasp since it requires a platoon command post, though. Even then, not the most expensive upgrade <laughs> or tech. Section of the South have been caught by the Gunnadies, Pioneers advancing there for Germany, spotting the Tommies and opening up ruthlessly. Up north here, we got a push here for Zen Prime here against the section dug in behind the sandbags. Still Gunnadies caught moving up here, he's going to need someone to flank. And even then, with the tree in the way, it's not going to be super effective. But still better than nothing there. Section still being overwhelmed, Gunnadies pulling up behind an old Rachen Schlepper Ost. In the South here, overwhelmed here, but the Inverse Care biking up this section. Good work there by Siaya. Quick responses, and as soon as he begins switching over to the section, like Calvi rush over the gun leaves from heavy cover to close to the section that they push them off here. Nice tactical move there by Sen Prime. Nice tactical move. Section came the point here. Pioneers come this on watch, and we got the take up here for the CI. And yep. and then as soon as he gets, he gets the wasp up to burn out the MD42. I imagine Sen Prime must be anticipating this move. I mean, most British players here will go for the wasp. So I don't think that's something that's going to be like wildly surprising Sen Prime, but I imagine he wants to keep the machine gun around for as long as possible, though that's not going to work out. And particularly they're using the section as a bait just to make sure the machine gun gets no chance of actually even damaging the universe care more there. Good play there by Siaya. Sen Prime, they're stubborn holds on to sacred territory of Das Vaterland. Holding on there with an MD-43 against a section up north there. Breakthrough against the Iron and the British Army in the south. They're also putting forwards. Pioneers going with it back for some fast tech. I'm just going to go for the 2 2 to counter the Wasp, which is always going to make it very difficult for Sen Prime to mount any defense. Sen is just going to get burned out of it. Still making progress against Ziaya. Section being reinforced. Nothing further going on there. Though he's now going for a fourth section, meaning he's got a lot of infantry there. Could put pressure on Sen Prime. Back here, I'd like to make a nice company up, and that'll probably then be a fast two to two. I mean, he could go for the craft tech himself, but that's not going to stop the wasp. And I'd imagine the wasp is currently his biggest priority. There we go. 
2 to 2, like to punch his payback now here for Zen Prime. Got the inverse came running out there. And goes to flank in the section. Going to use Quartal versus the Fireman section. Going to be a bit tricky when in negative cover. I mean, good chance though, but there's still theoretically some way this can pull from particular, like pulling up behind cover themselves. 2 to 2, they're almost down there for Zen Prime. See how they're lacking any counters to it. Could be quite wrong here, 2 to 2, maybe even 2. He does not think. He does even now, he doesn't have the AC ready, so a 2 to 2 could be quite nasty. It will have to be committed to 2 because that definitely increases the chance of an AC, which Seattle Bowie does have the bulletins for. But 2 to 2, they're going to the pen battlefield. They like to punch a speed wagon. Tanking into the section here, engaging violently. And these punnies flanking in the section, they managed to cut off the point. Falling back here, not too safely, but not too disastrously either. Having done their part. And we got CI here going for special weapon, following up the six pounder gun as well. Looks like he's not going to go for the AC. In fact, he might try and then rely on a six pounder gun and the tank hunter section to deal with all this. Back here, troops healing and forcing. Preparing for the next big clash. In the south, we got the six moving up, healing up. Noting so far, he seems to be upgrading most of them with medical supplies. No, for so far, attempted pyrotechnic supplies and a bit of artillery here to unleash against Zen Prime. There we go, two to push back, pushing back the section. Good job, about Lloyd, and there you go, Wasp moving up. Pioneers finding a bigger flame for another one, they're wielding. Six pounder going out here, though, for CIA. We'll have to see if we see any tank hunter section as soon as possible. We're just going to delay that a bit. As for Zen Prime, we'll see what he goes for next. I mean, Pan's going to do this right now. It'll be pretty great with all these unupgraded sections. Plus, if he does go for tank hunters, I mean, the Pan's going to do is going to absolutely rock it. But see here, in here, it is a pack 40, which would indicate he's worried about the AC for sure. Does not want to nearly himself exposed to it, which makes a lot of sense. Sectioning Suffolk, having suffered among losses, but nothing huge. Pack 40 almost done. Got the two to move Suffolk as well. Step on it, Fritz. I've heard Tommy's down there. Tommy's? Yeah. He's there to shoot them, as always. Ah, good. Got the wash there on job. Two kills so far, close to Red Sensei 1. Back here in Foss. Oh, he's just waiting for weapons. I'm guessing then it's going to be Piet up here for the Sappers. Tends to be the common choice there. Using them for tank dude is an upgrade in the sections with Bren guns. Two to two there opening up in the universal curve. We got the troop moving out to back up the two to two with the light machine guns. Good work there. Section a bit of a sticky situation. Six pound gun nearby moving up. More pioneers for Send Prime. Possibly for mindful results just to help with repairs and other elements. Nice choice there by Zen Prime. Need to retreat the gun easy before they get annihilated. Though we got Sappers with Piet. Piet standing for projector, infantry, anti tank. Was a spring loaded anti tank weapon with certain flaws, including the needle bent. You really couldn't use it, and that wasn't too difficult. We're losing the machine gun there. Zen Prime of CEO extended it quite aggressively and got punished pretty badly for it, to be honest. Handing over the machine gun to the Tommies is not good. Bali goes here for mobile offense. Like the Akuma that's being planned here by Zen Prime. Point. There's not really much need for it now. I mean, you could theoretically, of course, use it for the rest of it, but it certainly seems like the typical panicky Puma choice there. Boston could also be helpful, of course, and Counterattack Tactics is also a pretty good ability, but one that is incredibly rarely used by most Vamart players, sadly. Pioneers for the section. MP40 slain for the section up close by negative cow. This is pretty great for the pioneers. Can do some good damage there for the fatherland. Need to retreat. North Nickel is being pulled here as well by sections. CIS strikes half for king and country. The Commonwealth. Back in base, nothing further happening here for Zen Prime. No tag up, no panzer gonna deal it. And we got a mortar in place up here for Ziaia. A bit further back there, but can still cover a nice notable chunk of the map and make it half there for Zen Prime to attack. That's going to force him to attack into the territory there to deal with it. 
So of course if this Yana sits up for that he could use the mortar in placement basically as a psychological pressure tool but also just bait, forcing Sen Prime to have to attack deep into a hostile territory to get it and if he just sits up a lot of mines for example he can make it really painful for Sen Prime. Supremely painful. We'll see what it ends up with though. Northy we got the 2-2 pursuing the section here. With any anti tank weapons, they are easy targets. Was being fixed up. Prime the center victory point. Gonna do some watch with the light machine in Gewehre. Nothing further going on there to send Prime space. Is there no attack up? No Ostrom. Oh, there we go. We got two Ostroms caught up. One with the light machine gun, one without. Certainly gives them a lot more troops to pressure the field with, puts them up to five squads. Does mean the additional light machine gun never hurts. And while the Ostrom obviously aren't assault infantry, they can still have things for our helpful support there. For some prime holding territory, and it's just harassing. It's not quite going to compensate for the loss of the M42 though. Which definitely still feels like a bit on the stake there by Sen Prime. Got the universe going north, it's punish going points. We got counter attack tactics we can use last year by Sen Prime. Great stuff there. Again, overlooked ability, but it can just allow to seize a lot of territory very fast, which is very potent. And there you go, got too close to the pier, it's quite close to the 2 2, which will definitely hurt. And there you go, the 2 2 2 is down for Sen Prime. So it looks like he's going to aim for the Puma though, he's not too far off. Again, I recommend taking up instead of this stage, just trying to push for Panthers fast, but uh, ultimately that is Zen Prime's decision. Mind for moving up there, Panthers off on the Wasp, but he's taking heavy damage in the process, and looks like the Panthers are just refusing to go off. Also moving up, he's pushing back the section, at least some sort of assault there. Not quite fully successful there for Zen Prime. Going for some victory. Note the counter-attack tax only works when the punch been rendered neutral. At this stage, then grab it faster. But still, rendered neutral again, it happens then really fast. In this case, he's just going to be able to render neutral, and then the ability wears off. Bit of bad luck there for Zen Prime, I guess. Or bad timing. Apparently put the mortar emplacement too far back actually and it's not really shooting anything. Of course you can try and barrage things but so far the CI does not. Oh, there we go. Mortify off. You can sort of see it uh, basically covers the right about here had he placed a bit further forward. Of course it could cover better but he might be worried if he places too far forward some prime can just theoretically get it up close to the pack 40 to just begin blasting but... I mean, it does cover some of the vital points, but it's not, I think, forward enough to put wild pressure there on Sen Primus by taking up here. Panzer they are putting for their bigger panzers. Schnell. Grab the northern point here. Sapper's dead face first. And less face first. Sim Prime should be able to push out up fast Panther 4 here. Zaya a bit further behind is not going to be able to push out for Cromwell fast enough. So good work there by Sim Prime. But we've shown them the price here from the Tommies from the 7th Armor Division, the Desert Rats. Got the altar sounding off for King and Country. Commonwealth and shattering the wreckage of the car. Of course, worth noting those Maltas are a bit better range than their auto firing range by now. Of course, the same here. Got the wasp moving at four kills, slowly approaching Veteran D3. Panther on the way there at four. Zen Prime. We got another battle counter attack tactics. I mean, Sire has pushed back the front line quite aggressively, so using counter attack tactics that way, you know, help push back is not a bad idea at all. Sabs is mounting to light machine gun fire here. No heavy machine guns up for Zen Prime. He's yet to replace them. Of North, Sabs moving to the section. Of Pioneers moving to the section of the south. We got another engagement here. See, I'm losing a bit of ground north and south. But the center so far is holding out bravely against the Germans. We're losing a capture point. Pantherful almost done there for Zen Prime. And there you go. Grab the victory point there in the north in a matter of seconds. And down here as well. Goes very fast there with counter attack tactics. Incredibly so. 
Top team enforcing Panzer what they have a Zen Prime. First Panzer on the field. So I have been not quite catching up there. Enemy causing trouble. Trying to take one of our points. Indy 4 2 come at the center victory point on there. CIA is determined to hold the center. Those all determined to hold the rest of the map. We got a fuel cache up for Zion, setting up for the longer fight here with more armor that way. Definitely not a bad idea at all there for CIA. One more to fire around the center victory point. Pants 1 itself to deal with a section. Which is going to be quite defenseless. I mean, it does have anti tank weapons, but they're mostly centered around the center, which is expecting the action to happen. So, priming clearly in this case, anticipating that is not going to strike into the center, at least not right away. Got the Tommies running. And up north here, Sappers push back here with the gun lead push, but we got the Wasp moving up here to ruin the Jerry's day by making it awfully hot. Back here, Gunnery sending out, nothing further going on then, send Prime Space. Got another battle counter attack tactics, he loves using that ability, and for 35 munition is not too expensive either, anyway, so how much you can potentially get out of it. So great work then, Panther forming up the catch of the machine gun, almost taken out there on its own, but uh, does safely retreat into the safety of the house, at least relative safety of the house, since it's still a Panther 4 firing at it. Grabbing up here, gun leaves being pushed back, got the wasp, got the section ring in there, Bren guns and flamethrowers. Not a healthy combination of any good German soldier. And so primary going for another machine gun to replace the one lost to the dastardly British yeah? Schwein. And up north here we've got the gun leaves of the section as well. Continue harassment there for some prime, continued pressure against the IA. So they're playing a bit more defensively, seemingly more of a stalling game, but uh, We'll see how that turns out. Managed to bait the universe counter the range of the Gundies. Good work there by Sen Prime. But he doesn't have any way of so quickly finishing off unless he gets the Panther all the way up there. But the Panther is preoccupied in the south of repairs. So in this case, I believe uh, CIS should be able to salvage the universe can't get it out there before any Panzers come knocking. Back in his base though, Ooh, we got Anvil Tactics. So he's playing Churchills and probably then Crocodiles. Which is actually a bit tricky there for some Prime Stand 4 to deal with backing uh, the firepower and the penetration to really just put a serious dent into the Churchill. It could force some Prime to either go for a lot of Stooks or take for tier 4. He hasn't already just decided he wants to go there, anyways. Fuel cash spotted, molten placement slightly exposed, but no mines to cover it up. We got the 6 pounder going nearby though. So we'll see what it ends up with. Victory points wise. Same prime as a small lead over CIA, but nothing massive as of yet. Nothing makes you go, good lord, that's a lot of victory points. And you got Oz from there, being bombarded by the mortar. Doing some damage, you know, casually, so he's an awkward push as well. Once more, strength to the wasp, which continues to do a bit of damage, nothing serious. And before Trudy joining as well, going to be forced to retreat. Will it lose another ND42 that says the eye? That would be pretty silly here for Zen Prime. Be pretty silly. Hands rolling up here. Quickly catching the sappers. And another push into the north from CIA from the Commonwealth. Advancing steadily against the German lines, machine gun repositioning here to cover up the victory point. Still a bit risky though, a bit risky since again it's going to be isolated on its own. And Sen Prime here setting up for the heavy Panzer core. Starting can just stall here with the Panzer 1. Theoretically can actually be able to get control a lot of the other parts of the map, then ensuring it does have a bit of fuel lead over CIA. And in this regard, they'll be able to push out for a Panther. It's not a bad trick that's playing the Sturm Panzer could also work out though. Obviously, with, once the Churchill hits the field, you will need a Panther because the Sturm Panzer definitely does not stand a chance for a Churchill tank. So, either needs, I think, to get a bit more aggressive, a bit more pressure in here versus the Sun Prime. Almost got the section there. In the Panzer IV. Heck 40 hanging back there. 
And there we go, T4 ready here for Zen Prime for the Panzer Leia Panzer Division. But so is the Church of Tank here for Zaya. Ready to roll over those dastardly Jerry's to crush them to mincemeat. Got the Penfall again in the section. We got another battle counterattack taxi here from Zen Prime. As he once more shows his ruthless spirit in the face of the Tommies. Still a heavy panzer call going up there for Zen Prime. More sappers out here for Zaya Minesweepers to help deal with mines, of course, also just repair and probably also just to service another Piat platform. But he's had to upgrade at least one section here with Piat as well. Sending the KTs with a bit worried about armor here from Zen Prime, who's actually building heavy panzer call now. In fact, once it is done, we'll be able to go for a panther he wants to or strong panzer. That's only going to be an interesting bit as well, like what is Zen Prime planning here? What does his heart desire? Besides, of course, victory for Germany. Back here, healing reinforcement, hey, Panzer Corps, we've got the church moving head here for Ziaia. We might want to get up another fuel cache though. Grenade off in the MD42, pack 40 on the up. Not much of a threat to the church, we can absorb a lot of hits. Panzer 4 with 9 kills, not bad at all there. And we got the Panther away the Zen Prime, likely in response there to the uh, Churchill tank. The Panther with its high penetration range will be able to deal with it. Quite a nice little zone, of course, it stays without range of the 6 Panther guns or the uh, Piats. As though it could much more easily do damage to the Panther, the Panther can't easily respond to either of those two threats. Panther 4 hanging back. Trench is up here to help for defense. The ice is further going on the defensive here. And a trench there. Not something you see a lot of from the British, to be honest, after they made them free, but also usable by anyone if they got cleared out. But they clearly see that he has a different map, mind. Tank getting lost there by the Panzer 4 up north. We've got to push it straight in there again. Dug in section with the trenches. Was with the 7 kills here. Seems like uh, the IA is successfully holding the northern and center victory point. But now we got a Panzer Camp Fighting Fin out here for Zen Prime and the Panzer Day Panzer Vision. Sending out for Germany. Austin Pani is being overwhelmed there by CIS. Swift counterattack. Got the Panther moving up here, though. Should be able to engage the Churchill. The Churchill lands good here in this Panther's rearmor. And the Wasp goes down. The Universal Carrier has been knocked out. Finally getting rid of that one. That just leaves the Churchill tank for now. And CIA probably might want to consider a bit of extra anti tank to help deal with the Panther. Unless he's hoping he's reasonably sure he can bait it into the Piats. We got the other sap second about upgrade to heavy engineers. Which gives them several trouble. benefits. Smoke's been off there, very good work, very good work. Pushing forward under it, in fact, landing three on the Panzer Four. Icing in the pack forty as well. Good support attack there by CI. Good supported attack. Thumbs up. Up north we've got the Panther going nuts in the section here, supported by a bit of infantry. And he's in the center victory point away there from the Germans. The Jerry's. Let me see what Sem Prime is up with next. We got the Church moving north, it's backed up by six Pentagon and some infantry. Ready to hunt down that Panther, put an end to it. There we go, six Pentagon easily penetrates the Panther front's Lama. Panther pop smoke disengaged. In this case, Sam Prime decides this engagement is not worth the risk. Need better off just pull back the Panther without losing it. It's a bit slow there. Just a bit slow there, and Sam Prime needs to be mindful of that. And you fought in the trench, come to the center victory point. We've got the mortifying way as well. Got a wipe. 
Good work there by Zen Prime. Going for the trench there. Hands are moving up now. He's being suppressed. He's trying to get closer to pop in a rough. And then we got Party's got the flame for us as well. But quickly targeted there by CIS Machine Gun Crew. Good play there. Churchill took the gun up, but they can't quite hit the Panzer IV. They exposed themselves, possibly just a bit, or he's taking much longer. Right, and there you go. Counter attack tactics once more from Sim Prime. And so says the Panzer IV, the Churchill, but now it's going to fire. And Sim Prime committing to a Panzer Werfer. All the trench and lights there from CIA. It does make a lot of sense to go for the rocket so that we deal with them. Makes it a bit easier for Sam Prime to dig up the dome. He cancels it. He cancels the Panzer Werfer for something else. Then we got more pioneers to replace the ones lost. But what is Sam Prime then planning? More Panthers, Sturmpanzer, Command Tank. I mean, at this stage, Puma would just be a weird choice with the Churchill about. More sappers on the way there for Seattle to replace the ones brutally cut down in cold blood by the Germans. And prioritizing the Panther here, not a bad idea at all by Zen Prime. Big two points wise, Zen Prime remains in the lead here with Ziaya. He remains in the lead, machine gun hanging about. And there you go, fresh sappers. We got a fast on the way there for Zard to help deal with the Sim Prime's armor. I imagine that primarily the Panther is the choice there. More trenches from Siaya, though. He loves those trenches. I really haven't seen a British player build that many trenches lately. I mean, ever after they basically got nerfed, there's been a sharp drop in British trenches in general. So it is nice to see someone actually use them. It is a very nice. Can this panthering Norfolk's here? The set of troops standing about. He looks like he's setting up for an assault there as well. Plus, in the south, MD42 Austin Wing caught here, but a section of machine and giving opening up here. Either one, the bigger one, will have been enough. And noting here that Sia does not have any grenades. Otherwise, he could have, I think, propped a pretty good one there against this Zen Prime and his troops. And we got a command tank up for Zen Prime all of a sudden. Interesting choice here. Not so sure if it is the best choice, but uh, it's a choice for sure. And once more counter attack tactics. I like his use of counter attack tactics. That is really solid stuff. Got the church when hit backed up with a six pounder gun. Far flight cancelled actually for CIA. Looks like is he just going to go for another croc? Churchill is actually playing the crocodile now. What well, would probably be the crocodile here to basically help deal with the Zen Prime's infantry and support weapons, and of course take on the armor a bit as well. Churchill there finally gets the Panther and the Command Panzer IV there. Overall, CI comes into range of defense, but he needs to be a bit more aggressive. He needs to pressure some prime one, but to the south is currently very much German town here, with no real British presence at all. But there we go, Crocodile on the way there. Some offensive tools there for CI to really, I think, begin pushing back and trying to use it correct. We'll have to see, of course, how that works out. Panther need a bit of light repairs. Five kills so far, close to it, 21. And we got another MD42 that wiped up, by the way. Sim Prime definitely needs to be careful with those MD42s. Bit of a bad habit, it seems. We're getting a bit lucky here, it seems. Getting a bit lucky, to put it very mildly. Churchill sure there bouncing shots left and right. But taking a few hits to the back to go through from the pack 40. Fuck crocodile moving up though. Two very large tanks there. Second under fire there. Needs to be mindful of that. And try and stay out of the way. And finally a bit of pressure to the south here. Finally. Bit of a standoff, we can see this end prime is quickly looking to start up a new front in the north, leaving a few units to keep him occupied in the center, and then just make a push into the north. Infantry armor being pulled up there. Good work by Zen Prime, good work. You could maybe consider more to provide some smoke support that way, maybe his assaults I think work a bit better if there's a CIA, but so far none of that. Sesame caught here in the side of the trench, Panther being fixed up, Rafa needs off here, and does a bit of damage. Counter attack tactics once more, he has used that ability so many times. 
I mean, I'm reasonably sure to this age, Sim Prime have been using counter attack tactics more than a lot of Vermont players ever will. Sampa's trying to change the light machine, guns are not the best attack here, but the eye, an easy kill there for Sim Prime, if not several easy kills. There we go, Crocodile moving in. Burning wet of those bloody Germans, but there you go, Panther to a sort of rescue there. Drawing the attention of the Churchill crew, but not actually getting a penetrating hit. Second one though, might just work a bit better out. There we go. Didn't have fire on their vehicles, so the section in the trench through the attention of the Panther line, the Churchill free shot. They got played by Zia, let's start with the, they hit by Zen Prime, and there you go, trench finding the trench, or units finding the trench with Piet. Great versus armor, but less amazing versus the infantry six or the gun there, so. So I probably should put someone in there with Bren guns instead. Or a machine gun. Crocodile arrived to the scene there, and the South have got their Panzer forming about. Command tank specifically. Regular one is in the center back up with a pack 40. Crocodile trying to do some damage here to Zen Prime, but it's not quite making the full impact he probably hoped to do. Make two points wise, as Zen Prime is still ahead here with the IS. Yeah, again, read our feeling needs to like do something a bit uh, different. He needs to change up his tactics. I mean, the trench usage is nice, but it would work better if there was like uh, more territory under his uh, command. Two kills there. And counterattack tactics once more. He is very much consistent with it. Very much so. Curry up the command tank, flying up behind. We've got the six moving in here. Smoke's going off once more here from the eyes. It grabs us into victory point. Good work, good work. Great hit here from the six panel gun. Or is it the Churchill? Mm, looks like. Yeah, the six panel gun on the command tank. You'd be careful there. Zen Prime does risk of extending it, but he definitely wants that fuel can gone and slowing down CR's fuel flow. Now using the smoke, his opponent's been laying down here to put force there, good play. No, not without its risks. Lots of Tommies ready at the helm, and there we go, command taking down. Bit of a loss of, that could have been avoided there by Zen Prime, to be honest. He did get the fuel cash, but I don't think that was quite worth a command tank. So he does have the fuel, but at least to replace it. And we finally got to put the fire off here from Ziaya against Zen Prime. Sapsum against the Ostrom here. Ostrom should not have much of a chance against the Saps so close to the Sten guns. Ending the lives of those bloody Germans. Up north here we got the Panther moving up and getting a bit of troops, getting some kills in. Eight kills in fact, not bad, not bad. There we go. Churchill flanks the Panther, lands a good hit, 6 point gun Johnson in the front row, causing further harm there to the Panzer Kampfwagen 5. Gunnarissa versus the Churchill tank. Crocodile specifically, back here. Got the Churchill being fixed up and good to go. Another hit here, south and pressure once more by CR. Once more we're looking to open another front against the fascist swine. Got the crocodile falling back there, gonna be easy to retreat now. Oh, they're gonna get wiped there, bit of a mistake there by Zen Prime. And we got Hold the Line. Interesting choice here. The enemy have 300 points. I mean it does help him hold some all this territory, but it probably be best time, you know, with an actual big push here from Zen Prime. Since this is really expensive. And by really expensive I do mean really expensive. But it basically means that Sam Prime is not interested in pushing ahead because he doesn't want to get by the air support. So I guess it's working out. Now again, for 250 munitions, it is bloody expensive. Port is for reinforcement and healing. No repairs available there. Now to work on the Churchill tank. Good lord, you got T in there. How is that possible? Up north, he does try and poke ahead. Immediately met with severe response there from the RAF, and there you go, same in the center there. Seems like Zen Prime slightly underestimated the Luftwaffe, believing in uh, 
Uh, Luftwaffe the RAF leave, believing in the Luftwaffe's propaganda. Few shots there. Up north, slow approach as well by Zone Prime. Trying to make sure it pushes all through Victor Point under control here of the British. Very good. Even the Solomon can see stay away. Both Churchill's advancing here. Might try and catch the Panther and destroy it. Second Panther by Sam Prime. Deciding he needs more Panther to take on the plethora of Churchill tanks he's been faced with here by Siaya. It's going to be interesting to see there. Another Panther and the Panther. Closing in eventually to them, which is going to be pretty great here for Sam Prime. There's amazing for Siaya. Ops is being pushed back here. Another Panther hit from the Panther. My god, see his tanks! They can take so many hits! Ah, yeah, you wouldn't think the British made some. But they definitely weren't made by the Americans. <laughs> Such a funny one, Ludwig. Back here, troops in reinforcing. Panther pushing back. Eventually, two shirts and added. Second Panther almost done there. Lots of trenches. Note he's got them overlapping there, so if one collapses, you can just quickly fall back to the next one. Interesting setup there by CI, and there you go, more trenches. Damned enemies trying to take a point from us. There we go. Second Panther out there, Panther all getting veterinary two here. Church although is already veterinary two. Good work there by CIA. Another trench section. Then he's going up, going to rough grenade to try and flush out those Tommy bastards. Easily dodged here by CIA. Though still takes a few hits, in fact, loses two members out in the open. Panther joining in, then we got one crocodile and a six pound gun in range to assist. They could see Sen Prime's Northern Salt here quickly falling apart, which is exactly what is happening. His command Panthers, or his regular Panthers, almost down. The Germans do not get command, well, the Wehrmacht does not get command Panthers. Panthers. Almost down, barely survives it with a tiny server health. Really damn close there for Zen Prime. Really damn close. Meanwhile, Zai continues in the wake of the collapse here. Looking to cause a lot of harm there to the Jerry's. We got the other Panther moving up. Might try and flank here. The Crocodile looks like the CI is expecting this next thing to pull back. The Crocodile in the center. Continue pressure here. But uh, CI remains unmovable. Church turn there being repaired up. There you go, Panther versus a lot of Piets. Which deters the Panthers continued progress. In the center they got the Panther versus the Dark in Tommies. More Pioneers in the way there for Zen Prompto repairs Panther, which is heavily damaged. And the more Pioneers has got of course the fasting in it back in action, which is definitely not a bad thing. And there you go, more counterattack tactics from Zen Prime. 10 kills, halfway to between 3 of them, the mortar emplacement. Solid stuff, solid stuff. Can they do advance in there with counter kind of tactics? Slow approach there, not a wildly aggressive one they could possibly put them in the northern victory point as well. We got funny in the center still. I mean, one hundred percent Trump could consider also just attacking the base directly, just avoiding all the trench positions and just going for the base, going for the jugular. It seems like uh, Sam Trump's at least not so far interested in that, but could doesn't consider it worth the risk. Back here, Panther is still being repaired. My god, what do you do to this thing? Use it as a toaster? Nine, we don't have any toast. We haven't had any toast since February. So I can't quite call up any more armor. But admittedly, neither can Zen Prime. So they're sort of both pop cap. They're both sort of uh, in a standoff here. Size so almost caught up here to Zen Prime in terms of victory points. At least, more or less, brought him down to size, if you will. Also, we've got the ring pushed off. Panther Norfolk, slightly supported, but nothing serious. And there you go, Sabah's caught it trying to repair the trench, actually. Something you also rarely see besides trench is actually someone repairing a trench. 
So impressive work there by Siavi. Got the church moving up there. The crocodile strikes at the Germans. Can they do something from Seoul South? Got the panther moving up. They got a smoke screen down here from side to cover the north here. Very good work. Straight on the attack here with the panther. A bit risky there with the Piat in the trench, to be honest. Need to be mindful about that. Need to be very mindful about that. Could end up being quite costly there for Zen Prime. On the other hand, it could also end up being bad there for Ziaia, if it's not careful. Panther's almost good to go up north here. Panther just hanging about there. Bit of light support, but nothing serious. Got the Pierce being hauled forwards. Alongside of Vickers Kim, of course, got the section dug in here. Trenches out for Ziaia. He likes those trenches. Rough in the office, section obviously getting glasses out. Pushing forwards for King and Country of the Commonwealth. Forwards, lads! Let's take out those German panzers! What how? Just shout at them. I'm sure they'll blow up. Most of them being scorched up here, Panther flying away. 12 kills, Vetchney 2. Sometime away from Vetchney 3 in the center. It's a bit of a stall best well here in the southern victory point. Again, 144 left here for Sam Prime. He needs to be mindful, he needs to be careful. This could quickly get up. Maybe he's not that. As he's now quickly beating out Victory Point, we've got the Sappers here versus the Panther. Machine gun setting up here in the centre, slow approach here with the Panther 4. Six pointer gun setting up to try and stall here. Pioneers could try and move ahead, he could also go for a mortar maybe. Smoke screen would be great, I think, for Zen Prime. Panther 4 report, Southern Point here being defended by the section as well. 126, 123 left here for Zen Prime. We got counter attack tactics once more, but his armor seems a bit scattered and not quite focused. And we got Tilly off as well here for Ziyat to. Uh, why is he exactly dealing with it? Ha! He destroyed his own Morton placement. It was eating up Popcat. So he's destroyed his own Morton placement to go for Fireflies. Realising in fact he cannot afford to sit back anymore. Also that the Morton placement is actually pretty awkward. Definitely I think the right decision made there. There's still funny to see someone bombarding their own Morton placement. Could do a leap first. Nope, I'm afraid you have to go as well, but but why? Bureaucracy. How? So after we get a push here, Ostrom gun is moving in, they're gonna clear out the victory point there. Panther sending Norfords here, Firefly number one almost done. Straight into the six pound gun. Another hit there from it, gaining Vetchley 3, that is definitely not grand news for Sen Prime's armor. He's down to 72 victory points, Zai there's 160. Need to fix up that Panther a bit as well, but uh, Panthers are taking priority here. Panther to flush out the Tommies. Nice counter there for the trench troops. We've got the croc church moving ahead. Crocodile ultimate's good to go. And we got the far out here for Ziaia. Can't go for any more units, but at least he's got a tank right now to help deal with the Panther. There we go. First hit from the Panther on that crocodile. The Churchill. Second Panther shoots as well. Two Panthers versus one Churchill tank. That is definitely a bit lopsided here for the Churchill. It's not really meant for fighting other tanks, and definitely not Panthers. Firefly's gonna come in the fire here from the uh, Panthers as that's actually a bigger threat to the Panthers. Then the bloody church of Vago, church like to shielding the uh, firefly there, very good work there by Zaya. And we got Pierce as well supporting, need to fall back with the Panthers. One is actually very close to 53 in the center, we got a push here. Then he's playing up the trench section, machine in there can't quite hit. We got the Panther for joining in the front. Some nice aggressive action here, things are suddenly heating up after being somewhat uh, of a slower ball for a bit here. Crocodile gaining Vesney too. Have for moving up, and we got tank hunters now out here for the eye. A interesting choice at this stage of the fight. Very interesting choice. Like the pack forty down, and a command tank now for Zen Prime. Panther, they almost got to go. The Arnold's waiting, I think, for the first Panther to, or the second Panther to get going, so they can make some nice armored pushes once more. Germany demands it. Austin makes pressed again. Counterattack tactics. Trying to seize that point as swiftly as possible before his troops get pinned down. 
And with the counterattack tactics, it's ah, which is a bit too fast. I got, I think that looks a bit. Got the far flamming out here. Halfway to version one. Come out in there in the <laughs> easy to hit position. In fact, down to less than half health already. Got the pan moving up though. Machine gun probably should be treated here. Very low on health and very low on numbers. In fact, you could just mark the pioneers here to attack that side. You can clear out the machine gun actually possibly wipe it, hitting the sun the victory point as well. Things are getting uh, aggressive in there. Going before two within send the armor piercing rounds. A bit late here to the party. Lots of to find the south. We got the point that being secured by the section. 59 versus 117. Got the crocodile moving ahead. He's straight into the Panthers line of fire. Need to go on Panther, I think, up here for Send Prime. Far further out with the 17 pounder gun and shoots, bounces the, off the Panthers front llama. Another hit there, then another hit. Further hits, we got the church moving up here. Pemson hit on the Panther. Firefly will probably get off another one here. There'll be no shooter rockets here for him. And main gun out on the Firefly. Bad news for Zaya. And the Panther just blitzes away. Further bad news for Zaya. This is good. Could have gotten rid of the Panther in great form. Oh, mistake with the crocodiles moving too far ahead. And we got here some primes. Almost ace Panther ready to punch. And there you go. Crocodile down. A significant blow to Zaya. He can play to cross with another crocodile, though. He might just want to consider more fireflies versus the Panthers. And he does, in fact, go for more fireflies there. Still losing the crocodile like that is a bit awkward. Twenty-two kills then the Panzer four. And we got counterattack tactics again from Sun Prime. So much counterattack tactics. So much. Change is being slowly dealt with. We got the church moving up here. Second firefly is close to the gun and the uh, other firefly is desperately winning repairs. None of those so far are forthcoming here from Zia. And the seventh armored. There we go. Panther and Job here the Churchill. So close to the ace level. So close. We've got a bit of the anti tank and waiting here. And the tank rifle. There you go. Ooh. Shot bounce, that was pretty lucky there for Sim Prime. Pop smoke this time around. Gets a hit though, gains the ace level. Nice work then. Ace Panther for the Veilmacht. The Lewis Banking up behind here. Caught by into tank rounds, got the church coming in as well. Pioneers bring about Panther hanging back here. And damaged engine on the Churchill. Does give the Sim Prime more room elsewhere on the map as it gets repaired. So at least the Firefly now is good to go, so that's two Fireflies ready to pursue Zen Prime's armor and try and knock it out there with this dub, two 17 pounder guns. We've 100 points left here for Zaya though. Panther heading northwards. Missed the machine gun there, another section out for Zaya. There you go, right now the Firefly, good work. Of course, it's right in front of both fireflies, more or less, except in this case, a tree's blocking the line of the other one. Ooh, lucky there, shot bounced. That one hand did not bounce. Second one's in the light machine gun, or heavy machine gun specifically, got the fireflies going up there. Go more hits on the pan, almost got it down. Need to be careful. Heavy damage effect being conducted as a pan by the six pan gun and the firefly. Come on, take next target here. 75 points left. Churchill move again. We got to push for the center as well. The trenches are collapsing. Positions are collapsing as Send Prime strikes for Deutschland. Two's being pushed back there by the incendiary RPS rounds of the MU 42. Firefly going down here to help with the Panther. The Ace. 17 kills on it. Good work there. I'm buying Zen Prime. Guys, going down to 57 points. Almost got the machine gun there, we got a peer line behind, and there we go, dead. Up north though, wipe another one of Zen Prime's MU-42s. Almost got the Panther fixed up. Oh, the Panther just waiting for some targets to strike with 20 kills its name, great work. 40 points left there for Zaya, 40 points left. And being the MD42 back that he lost in the first place. 
Most of the trench is also gone by now. And there you go, Church Trench, the Command Panther, or the Ace Panther. 20 kills, We've got the far flank back, We've got the 6 panther gun here, of course, as well. Panther's linking up. This is where Mortar would be good for the function, which could be charging in against Zaya. Shot fire, penetrating hits, Panther in North In fact, he's sending the Ace Panther away on his own. Might regret that a bit here. 24 points left for Zaya. All the pumping seized, got the Panther up to the machine gun. Fire sitting out, other fire flap being repaired as well. He could probably move up the Panther a bit closer to deal with the machine gun more easily, but that would risk, of course, exposing the flank more of the Panther, meaning he might have to try hard time kicking out there alive. Ace Churchill move, by the way, they're pretty impressive work there as well, but uh, I don't think it's going to do much here. Heavy damage against an Ace Panther. 13 points left here for Zaya and the 7th Armour. The Panzer there, they continue to punch away here for the German Army. There you go. 6 Panzer gun lands with it and they come out on the 8th Panther. I keep wanting to call it Command Panther for some reason. More trenches here from Zaya and we got counter attack tactics again. So many counter attack tactics here from Zen Prime. Five points left. Four. And I say this kind of looks like GG. Two. And game over. Game over. Victory for Zen Prime. A bloody battle right here in Holot Infirma with a lot of trenches, a lot of counter attack tactics, and several Panthers. So, only a lot of things you don't see that much of. A rule. I think Xiao made some good moves from the end. I think he got too defensive, too dug in. Also forgot about the south for too long. Didn't try to outmaneuver Zen Prime. And that allowed Zen Prime, I think, to more steadily just build up a force and begin just tearing apart Xiao's so defenses piece by piece. And basically taking advantage of the fact they were scattered. That way he could just attack separately parts of the defense. That way tearing apart until the Xiao was forced to destroy his own mortar emplacement to make room for more stuff. But at the same time, he just lacked stuff to take on the Panther. So, so again, two defensives and Prime seeing this, I think just went for Panthers to just counter this and punish this sort of strategy. So well played there by Sam Prime. So hope you enjoyed this episode. Hope you learned something from it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment on it. Also, big thanks to Garth for pledging on Patreon, supporting the Propaganda Cast, and of course, allowing me to keep making all these videos. So big thanks to you. This is Imperial Linking. Cheers. Thank you for watching. You're all a wonderful audience. Hope to see you all tomorrow again for another funny episode. Bye.